Hey guys, this is Hawk. Welcome back to the channel and to Spirit of the Island. Uh, so just as a reminder, this just released today. Um, and this actually ended up being the, um, I thought this was going to be the full release. Uh, this is actually early access, but that is fine. This game was so much fun when we played it, when we did the demo in February for Steam's Next Fest, that I went ahead and I I purchased it right away and we're going to play it in early access and heck we might play it again when it's in the full release. So I, I took some time and I already went ahead and I set up my character here. Uh, so you can see our name is Hawk. Our property name this time is Hawk's Hideaway. The town name is Oceanside. And I just left the region name as Mahu. That seems to be the default um, all the time. And I couldn't think of anything better. So. We also went ahead and selected the female character and we stuck with the channel colors again, but to differentiate it a little bit from the original playthrough, I selected a different hairstyle. So you can see there's some different hairstyles in here. Um, some of them look mostly more like styles that you would think on, would be on a male character. That was kind of interesting. But we'll, we'll stick with this one. I uh, already selected my favorite eyes, which have these little fluttery eyelashes, which is, oh, here's more fluttery eyelashes. No, I still like the way that the eyes are shaped on this one. And um, I went ahead and I, I did what I had mentioned and I, I was going to go ahead into normal adventurer mode, which is slightly more difficult than, of course, easy explorer. So you can see in easy, survival needs are low, stamina recovers faster, and creatures are less aggressive. And we're going to go ahead with normal, which is survival needs are normal, stamina recovers at a normal speed, and creatures will attack on sight. One thing we are going to do here is that we are going to eliminate the tutorial. We just played this about three weeks ago, and it was a lot of reading to get through the tutorial. And I think I remember enough of this, and I actually just uh, rewatched my playthrough <laughs> just to refresh myself so that I could make sure that I could keep the tutorial off. Um, and then, of course, we have the... Uh, it says childhood here. Uh, this is the one that I would thought was probably advancing certain skill sets faster. So countryside lover is related to farming. I assume that probably means there's still not really any sort of details about that, at least on here anyway. Um, there might be out, you know, on the net somewhere at this point. But anyways, so this one's about farming. I assume that means that anything farming related is going to advance faster. Uh, this one's survivor, which seems to be maybe like foraging related type of thing. And um, food lovers, of course, would be probably cooking. Popular is social. And then here is building. And then there's, of course, collector. That is kind of a balanced mode. It looks like you're fascinated by everything the world has to offer. Food, people, animals, challenges, and even danger. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select the builder option because this is kind of like a city builder type of thing. I don't know how much we're going to have access to. I did see that there is a uh, there is a roadmap out on um, the studios. Uh, it's either their Discord or on their Steam channel. Um, so I, I know that some of the stuff for the staff housing is going to be coming a little later this year. Um, so hopefully this is something that's going to be worthwhile. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and start. You grew up so fast. Home is very personal, and you will have your home. I know your parents treated you well. Don't worry, they will wait for you to meet you again one day. It is time for them to rest while you start your own journey. There is so much to see. And even more to discover. Oof, it's raining already, and we have a headache. Arg, the boat is gone. At least I'm on the correct island, I think. 
Hey, discover your story. Explore the island. Find your new home. After a few days of traveling on a small boat, you have reached a beautiful island. Your parents told you it was time for a new beginning in this phase of your life, and you have a, a new property to take care of near Oceanside Town in the Mahu region. Also, you should meet the town's elder. She might help you with the next steps. Explore the island and find your new property. Cool. And as noted before, we have our uh, we have a machete and we have some bottles of water and we have some apples. Um, and good news is that as compared to the demo. Oh, oh, look, they've added in or maybe these were present. I don't know. Maybe people had so many problems finding their <laughs> the, the farm in the demo that they added those in. Um, but whatever. Cauliflower. We didn't have cauliflower in the demo. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, we had the uh, I had the ability before I started to change the I changed the the key bindings, and so I was able to when I was struggling so much last time with the opening the inventory with the I button. I can now open it with tab and it. We've got two rows of inventory space. I've got radish seeds, too, I think. By the way, I'm not even sure I mentioned, but I've, I've obviously I stuck with the... Uh, I decided to stick with the channel colors again for my person. Hawk's Hideaway, new location discovered. Pick it all up. Because it's all important. All right. Let's get to the farm, though. This must be the place. What a mess. But the house looks like it's in one piece. I wonder why my parents wanted me to come here. If I remember correctly, find the house. Found it. And made my make it my new home. And then look for the elder. She is responsible for the local town around. Perhaps I could use this to get started and fix this mess. Also, maybe it would be good to find something to eat and drink soon and later get some rest. Well, let's get that letter and take a look around. I also need to get to know the town. All right. Let's pick up our hammer and our watering can. Yeah, we've still got some space. Um, let's see. How do I... Did I quick slot that? Oh, I did. Okay. Okay. Where's the letter now? This is not the same house. Uh, last time, uh, is the letter in the mailbox? Maybe now I get it tomorrow. When we played in the demo, there was a signpost right in front of this front window that I'm standing in front of, and the letter was pinned to that. Wow. Yeah, the farm design's a little bit different. All right, well, we definitely need to chop down some trees because we need to have a place to put some stuff. Um, well, you know what? Okay, so that's got the boulder there. We had noted that last time. Let's chop down this spiky thing. Let's get to chopping some trees. I do plan on having some farms, but um, I probably will have less farms than I did in the demo, just simply because of the fact that uh, there is... Are we closer to the pond? I don't know, maybe I'm imagining things now. Um, but anyways, there is, of course, spoilage in the game, and I don't have the ability to craft a refrigerator very early. At least if if the um the leveling is kind of like it was in the demo i don't have that too early there we go i'm loving all these seeds though i'll be interested to see if they ended up keeping the i had mentioned that the farming seemed to be a little bit overpowered in that when you farmed and you harvested stuff um the, the farm plots still kept the seeds. And you can see how simple it is to get seeds. All you do is... 
generally swipe at a couple of plants and you're gonna end up with a bunch of seeds. You need at least six to plant a farm plot. Okay. I do believe we needed six boards. Uh, let's pull up the building menu. Now, where were our storage chests? Okay, so this one is going to be, looks like, largely machines. Oh my god, we can make cheese? Oh, guys, this is, oh my gosh. Okay, and this one is now just all plants. Grasses, flowers, apple trees, rocks. Okay, and this is all related to farms. And this is, of course, aesthetics. We can add in chairs and plants and pots and roads and sidewalks. And this is the shops. Simple staff house, staff tower, fancy staff house, garages. Okay, here we go. Small chest. Uh, it's five wooden plates now. Okay. Aquariums? Fancy bed, fridge. The fr to uh, make the fridge, it requires an electronic skill of two. I wonder how you level that up without just crafting a whole bunch of electrical wire. That's kind of how I was um, leveling a lot of things up. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and make some wood plates. We'll probably need two chests right away, so let's go ahead and make uh, ten wooden plates. How much inventory? Oh, I don't have much left, so let's just go ahead and chop maybe some more stuff down here. Hey, my foraging skills improved already. We're definitely... We might even need another. Um, there were not... There weren't so many seed varieties when, <laughs> when we were playing previously. And you can see our... Our hunger and thirst definitely decreases much more quickly. So while I guess that's crafting, why don't we slot... We'll put water in this slot and food in this slot. Oh, shoot. Yes, your bag is full. How do I drop this for the moment? As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and drop the shovel as well. Okay, that stuff's just kind of hanging out. Uh-oh. I need the planks. Okay, perfect. Leave those there for a second. Now... We want a small chest. Let's go ahead and put... I'm gonna put... This one over here, I think, knowing that I'm gonna put my farm plots over here. Um, there we go. Couldn't quite figure out how to get out of the build menu. Can I have you? Thank you. Oh. There's potatoes? Yeah, we've definitely filled up almost an entire chest now with just farming-related stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and grab one more chest that for now we're going to put right here beside the front door, I guess. And we will shove some other things in there. Let's grab these again. I guess we'll put the watering can in there for the moment. That could probably go in the farming chest, but... Um, let's make... 
What am I thinking? I'd probably like to make some more stuff, like some more chest and that type of thing, but maybe we'll hang tight on that just for a second. All right, let's go ahead and mine some of these out. Feel a little bit rusty. All right. And we are getting tired. Okay. Last pile. Cool. All right, now is this a rock? Oh, it is, okay. Wasn't sure if it was a rock or a big pile of dirt. Oh, that gave me copper. Anyways, not sure if I finished mentioning, but I'm going to do far less farms this time around just because of the fact that I, I don't want to deal too much with um, spoilage. And you can see that definitely stamina is recovering much more slowly. It's dark already. Hmm. Okay, well, let's hop in here. New location discovered home. Oh, look at this. The bed's right here. Cool. What time of day is it? It's only eight. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, it's only six o'clock in game. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep for, I guess, 10 hours. Oh, we only stole, uh, started with um, 50 gold. Hmm. Interesting. The one bad thing I don't, that, that was part of the reason I was sleeping for so long is because of the fact that um, I don't like that in the nighttime, there's no music. Cool. All right, let's do some digging. Uh, I'm getting worms. I guess I probably need this for fishing, don't I? All right, let's see how many of the farm plots I can craft. Okay, I can only craft two. I don't know exactly how many I'm going to need so last time you were able to uh, make a salad with, I think it was broccoli and lettuce and one other thing. I was kind of hoping to just have four plots. All right, is that enough to make two more? And I love the snap function. Isn't that awesome? You don't have to worry about them not being in alignment. So great. Hey, morning time has come. All right, let's go ahead and put the wood in here for now. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure which one's which of the, um, not sure which of the seed types are going to be most beneficial. We might have to make the stove first to find out. Oh, here's an apple. Very nice. Okay, so the reason I'm in the chest right now, so you can see that one of our quests um, is farm basics, collect some lettuce seeds. So I have lettuce seeds and I only needed six. So I just want to take them out. There we go. Plant your first seed. So they want me to plant lettuce. Okay. And then water your crops. All 
All right, so we figured out during the demo that you should be able to water all four of these. If we stand in line with these plants here and face this direction. Why does that make a sound like I'm chopping wood? All right, let's go ahead and plant. I don't have enough. You have to do six per plot. I guess we'll plant some cauliflower and some potatoes. And beets? I thought they were radishes. They, I guess they are beets, aren't they? All right. Cool. So we got beets and potatoes and cauliflower. And I love the little pop-ups that show you what's planted there and then some lettuce. All right, let's go ahead and put the seeds away. And our watering can. And we're going to go fill up. Let's fill up these empty bottles. Very nice. Having ourselves an apple. You know what? Let's go ahead and just drink that right away and go refill it. This is definitely a big difference between the... Um... There's definitely a big difference between the... The difficulty levels that's it's pretty noticeable that you definitely lose hunger and thirst a lot more quickly all right um let's do oh here's some apples speaking of speaking of some food and and you know survival requirements let's go see if tony's up here Hello. Tony. Hey, be careful. There are some nails on the ground. I'm trying to fix the bridge. I don't know what happened. Sorry to not look at you. If I drop this now, we may have a bigger problem. Tell you what, if you bring me some materials, maybe I can finish faster. What do you think? And then we can chat later. Okay, I will help you as soon as I have the materials. I will bring them to you. Thank you. This will really help us. Yeah. Uh, we also have a quest knowing the basics craft the rest of the required items in the workbench so i have stone i have stone because i mined it i just need to craft some duct tape apparently i think duct tape was used with this and this correct and here's the stone oh and it wants me to craft some wood plates All right, so it wants me to craft five wood plates, but you craft them in increments of two, so let's make six. Just do some cleanup while we're waiting for that. Give me some plates. All right, and then it wants me to craft five duct tape. I have enough of stuff for that. Uh, what actually is duct tape? Yes, three plant fibers and three uh, fats. And the fats we got from these spiky plants, which I don't like. Ouch, because they take your health away. I try not to get too close to them. All right, so the next item is to build a furnace. Can I build that already?
All right, I just started that on making some more wooden plates because we need 15 to give to Tony. All right, where are we going to put the furnace this time? I would like the machines to kind of be facing so that we can see them because some of them are actually pretty cool looking, right? But I definitely like having the farm plots over here because they're close to the water and this is a nice open area. We may end up kind of sticking with putting things over here. Oh, my bag's full. I probably should fix that problem, shouldn't I? A pack of... I got nails out of these. Interesting. I'm getting forging experience, even though I didn't actually forge anything. That's interesting. Mining up some boulders. I'm getting pretty sleepy already, unfortunately. Oh, these are done. And we need to make some rope for Tony as well. He needs four. Uh, rope is just plant fibers. There we go. Now we've got some nice open areas. Uh, to maybe put some machines down. Let's go ahead and move some of this stuff out of here. All right, so it wants me to build a furnace. So does that mean it has given me, it asked me to collect enough stuff to build a furnace? Furnace. Ah, uh, yes, 15 stone, 5 duct tape, and 5 wooden plates. Cool, let's get ourselves a fern... I don't feel like this looked like this before. That's kind of cool. Nice. Alright, I have some... Let's see what it takes to make the stove. The basic stove, I just need 20 bricks. Yeah, let's try to craft 20 bricks. I need firewood. Right, and you have to craft firewood. That's what it is. All right, so let's go ahead and get our rope off of here and let's craft some firewood. There, 21. Now, do I have this? I have this stuff for Tony, so let's go deliver that to him. This, of course, is what's going to open the town for us. So we needed to get him enough of stuff, and then he will construct the bridge. Um, so here is where we start. This is our little island. Tony is right here right now. He's constructing the bridge. And, of course, you can see all the townsfolk over here, which we were only ever, ever able to meet. Tony and this guy, John, who's, in my head, he was kind of like the Linus of the story. Linus from Stardew Valley. He's the guy that kind of lives in a tent and, you know, likes to just wander around. It's kind of his thing. Did you find the materials? Yes, I have them all. Awesome, thank you. I will be able to speed this up, get some rest in your home. The next day it will be ready, I am sure. Very nice. And I think it might help a bit with our hunger if we can get some of the salad stuff going. Why do they say 0%? Didn't I plant them yesterday? Or did I just plant them today? Goodness, I've already lost track. Alright, come along. Finish up now. 
my character is tired and I need to go to bed. Let's have some snacks. All right, let's get rid of the last spiky plant. And let's start making ourselves some bricks. What did it say I needed for this? Was it 20? It was definitely 20. So we have enough stuff in the morning to make the... Actually, that's crafting pretty quickly. Let's go over and refill our water bottle. As a matter of fact, let's just go ahead and top off uh, top off our water if we're going to be refilling water bottles anyway. So one thing I'm noticing is that, unlike in the demo... The, there seems to be a much more limited access to apples. So a lot of these trees, uh, you were able to really simply... Oh, here's a couple. You were able to really simply find apples uh, in the demo. I guess we'll figure out if we're going to starve to death. It might be an adventure. It might be an adventure that ends very quickly. <laughs> Anybody else got some apples so we don't starve to death? There's an apple. Hello. Okay, they're still around. Yeah, there's a bunch down here. I need to rest. I'm not in a good mood. I'm very sorry. Okay, we'll go to bed. We definitely slow down quite a bit. Um, is 10 hours going to be enough? It does seem like it is. So our rest meter is completely full. Oh, it's four o'clock in the morning. Turn on our flashlight. Oh, hey, here's this letter. Hello. I know you are new, so I wanted to write a few things about our town here. I hope you are all set in your new home. And this is coming from Tala. Every month we have a few events and also, you know, people gets old. Uh, so remember the anniversary from the town folks, and I'm sure you will make better friends. Haha. -ha. Uh, birth is, is it talking about birthdays? Uh, for these events, if you want to participate, just go to the town center and interact with the big signal at the town center. Hope to see you there. Okay. I was going to come back down and grab these uh, apples that I wasn't able to grab. Okay, here it is. Hopefully you guys are able to see the apples are kind of on the bottom left of this tree. And there was one... Was it you? I think this one has one on it. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let's go ahead and craft our stove. Basic stove. And we will put you here. And do we have enough wooden plates? We do not. One of the things I actually did that I appreciated doing is that if I keep the stuff for that I need for the furnace next to the furnace, then... And these, I mean, these chests have very limited space. There's 10 slots here. So we definitely need to sort some inventory out. So I will put the stone and the nails and the copper into a chest that I'm going... Oops, I actually need the... I need these. Oh, I need to plant fibers for those as well.
At some point, I will figure out how... It looks like there's probably a way for me to take fewer items. And we will have more stuff to put in this soon. If Assuming that the, the cave is open. I haven't been over that direction yet. Cool. But it looks like we are nicely sorted out. Uh, let's go ahead and water our plants quickly. Don't want to forget about those. All right, so we stand in the middle aisle, line ourselves up with the uh, last row in the... And we hit all four at once. All right, let's shove some apples in our face. Grab ourselves a drink since we're going over to the pond. And then we're going to refill both the watering can and our empty water bottle. Cool. Oh, look at that. So you can see... Oh, I forgot you can actually sprint in this game. Okay, there we go. Oh. You already move so quickly, I guess I don't even think about it. Um, so the cauliflowers are 25% done. The lettuce is 33. Only 12 on the beets and 12 on the potatoes. Uh, since we have this now, what can we cook? So I can make oils. Sliced fruits require cherries. Yeah, see that the small salad requires lettuce, carrots, and broccoli. And I didn't plant those. Maybe I should plant them quickly. I don't think I had enough of carrot seeds or broccoli seeds to be able to plant them. Um, I was able to plant a lot in the demo just because of the fact that... Okay, I've got enough broccoli. Okay, and enough carrots now. So if I just dig myself really quickly. Dig myself some dirt is what I was trying to say. Not quite enough to do another plot yet. I definitely want to make sure I've got enough to, to make some salads. Because the apples are wonderful. Um, they restore 20%, but the salads will restore... Assuming everything is the same, they should restore 50. I have enough to make another farm plot. We'll hold off on that for now, I suppose. Okay, there's our broccoli, and there's our carrots. They unfortunately are running at a different cycle now. The lettuce is going to be done sooner. All right, so the bridge, whoops, the bridge to the town should be done. But unfortunately, we are going to have to wait for that until next time, because I actually have to go. I just wanted to make sure to get this recording in, because I want to try to get this out later today. Um, yeah, but I'm excited about this. I'm actually hoping to probably stream this over on Twitch. I'll be recording as, as I'm streaming, and I will publish it out on YouTube as I have it available. Definitely let me know what you think in the uh, comments below. I'm excited to hear what you have to say. I really thought this game was great when we played it in the demo in the Steam Fest, and I am planning on playing more of it. So if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and comment. Also subscribe so that you get notified of future videos. But for now, my name is Hawk, and this has been Spirit of the Island, and I will catch you guys next time.